Hello, friends. I'm Lee Brown. This is Crazy Shit in Real Estate. And today, the slightly different angle, because we're going to talk about health and wellness, specifically for women who tend to get super busy, stressed out, and start making excuses for taking care of themselves. So I've got Angelica Ventrice with us today. She is a health and wellness guru, talks about gut health and personal health. And hopefully you'll have this be a little kick in your tail. So enjoy the conversation. I'll see you on the other side. You're listening to Crazy Shit in Real Estate. You'll be amazed at all these wild but true situations that others have found themselves in. Because on this show, you'll hear uncensored, unbelievable stories from the world of real estate. I'm Lee Brown. Let's dive right in. So welcome to the podcast. And actually, I'm kind of glad we're starting off in an oddball way because this is going to be an oddball episode since you're not a realtor and you're in a different space, but it's a really important space to talk about because, well, the frankly, the majority of realtors are women. Mm-hmm. Realtors operate under a high level of stress. They yep. never take care of themselves if they're honest about it because they put off the workout to the end of the day. So it never happens. They eat like crap because they work with people all day long and look around and say, it's four o'clock and I haven't eaten. And then they grab like a stale handful of goldfish out from under the back seat or they stop at fast food and fast food is not food. And friends, if you think I'm crazy, go read the book, The Dorito Effect, and you will understand exactly what I'm talking about, how your food you're eating is probably destroying you, but we won't have that rabbit hole right now. But Anyway, Angelica's with us today, and we're going to talk a little bit about some things she's got some expertise in that will make all of you better. So, Angelica, why don't you tell my audience a little bit about you? Obviously, we now know you're in Hawaii, so you're in a better place than we're all in. But tell them what you do in your background, and let's just kind of have a little fun conversation here. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. So, I'm originally from New York, so you might hear that accent come out. But about 11 years ago, I went on my own weight loss journey. I was doing medical sales and pharmaceutical sales. So I do relate to the realtor kind of hustle because I, that's, and I think that's one of the reasons why I enjoy working with realtors. Cause I've been there. I've been go, 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 go from doctor's office to doctor's office, get them the donuts and the snacks. And then you eat that. And then you, you're burning out because then you're attending all these events and dinners. And all of a sudden you look down and you're like, wow, I feel disgusting in my body. And that's part of what happened. I gained a lot of weight and I just felt, you know what? I felt so disgusting. I hired my first coach, went through a transformation journey with him. And then I decided like, this is what I want to do. I want to help other women feel better, not just lose weight. Obviously we all want to lose weight, but really feel good in your own skin, feel confident, have your skin glowing, understand nutrition. So I quit my pharmaceutical sales job moved from New York to California without a job lined up at all. And I know, you know, a lot of women who transfer into real estate, they kind of, they take that big leap too. They come from other professions. Maybe they were a nurse before and they feel burned out and want to get into entrepreneurship. So I appreciate that aspect too. So I left, went to California, had no job. Literally, I was like, I'm just going to go to the best gym and try to get a job there. So I started as a personal trainer, worked my way up there, then went off on my own and started my online program, which is called Fit for Life. So it's it's way more than just fitness. It's fitness, nutrition, mindset, gut health. And we really take a holistic approach to helping women transform from the inside out. So it's more like a life. And so like you. You have to know, guys, if you're watching and listening to this, the first thing is if this is hurting your feelings because we're talking about getting healthy, you have to stop and you have to push through that because our society right now is in a really negative space where if you feel like you should lose weight, but you don't want anybody to tell you that, then listen to yourself because it's not just about weight and what weight you are, that's kind of irrelevant. It's about the health that you have. But if you're carrying excess weight, then it's harmful to your inner organs. It's killing your knees. And if it makes it to where you can't go up and down a flight of stairs, that impacts your ability to go watch your kids at a baseball game. You have to walk up into the bleachers. And so everything we're talking about is quality of life and it's taking care of this. And you're the only one that can take care of it. And so as she and I are talking today, all I want you to know is that we can't see who you are watching this video and we can't know where you are in your journey. All we can tell you is if you feel like you need to do something different, then it's on you and your body will thank you. And I say this as somebody who I lost a ton of weight about 10 years ago after I saw some photos and I said, this is ridiculous. I have to stop. And I was the one that was in charge of it. And I couldn't work out 
until I lost some weight because I didn't like my thighs touching each other and I didn't want to work out. And then after I did some whole 30 and I got really smart about my eating habits, I lost a bunch of weight and then I started working out. And so you also have to remember everybody's got a different kind of journey. Angelica's looks wildly different than mine, looks different than yours. So yeah. anything that you you think about has to be in here as much as in here because yeah. the way that you conduct yourself and carry yourself is totally contagious. And if you don't like you, you're not really going to attract people that like you. But if you, whatever it is that you're in in your space, you carry yourself with confidence, people are drawn to that. So that being said, Angelic, I'm so curious. You talk about all these different angles of health. What was the, the space that, that clicked for you? Like for me, it was seeing photos that I, 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 it had gotten away from me. I just, it just didn't occur to me. Yeah. Like, okay, this, this, something has to change. And so what was it for you? For me, it was the way I felt. I felt like none of my clothes were fitting and I felt obviously, yeah, I didn't like the number on the scale, but like you said, it goes deeper than that. It's it was not the number because you put on the muscle I, changes the number too. Right. I felt disgusting. I felt weighed down. I felt like I had no energy and I was in my twenties and I was like, well, I felt like an old lady. I just, I did not feel good in my own skin. And I, I knew there was a better way. And I want to touch upon something you said at the end there. It affects everything. When you release weight, lose fat, Remember that your body is your vessel and you just said it affects everything and you're not going to attract, you know, what kind of people are you going to attract? What kind of things are you going to attract? You're a real estate agent. You want to make more money. You want to sell more houses. You want to feel good in your body. You want to feel aligned. You want to feel confident. It doesn't matter what the number on the scale says, but if you don't feel good, aligned and confident and vibrant, the first thing someone sees when they pull up to the house is you. Yes. Yes. It's not the house. It's you. You're the first point of contact. So if you're lacking energy, if you're not feeling good, if you're insecure, if you feel like you're running on empty, that vibration is given off to that client. And that's no matter whether that's what I felt in medical sales. And it's the same thing. That's why I think, I, like I said, I like working with real estate and just because it is that it's that inner energy that's it's not coming out to your optimal if you're not feeling amazing in your own skin. So well, and especially like right now. So the market is changing as we speak. And it's really a really challenging space for realtors because for the last two and a half years since COVID started, the real estate sector has been just white hot. It's been insane. Yeah, yeah. And realtors are working seven days a week. And so I get it, friends. You have put your work ahead of everything else. And so you're already exhausted. You're highly stressed out because you're going from 50 multiple offers on every listing to now it's still in favor of sellers, but buyers don't know, should I buy right now? Should I wait? Yeah. Sellers are, should I sell right now? Should I wait? And so now you're managing their fear, their concerns, their unrest in the market while you're already exhausted and you've got unrest because you don't make a living unless something sells. So I get it. And so when all of that stress is here, sometimes the only thing you can control when the markets are crazy is what you do with this. And so there is a level of if you are a control freak by nature, you want to know why I run at 4.30 in the morning. because that's the one thing I can control in my day. I can control if I get up and go do something and yeah. I can control what goes in my mouth. So yeah. knowing that and knowing the, the life of pharmaceutical sales, and I want you to talk more about gut health, but I want you to also give some tips for what is the easiest way to keep some kind of nutrition at hand in a world of food prices going insane, gas prices going insane, realtors are working seven days a week. How do they solve for the, I don't have time to eat problem? Yeah. Which we've all heard. <laughs> we've heard it a million times. We'll have time for what's important to us. Right. So whether it's spending an hour or an hour, like an hour on a Saturday, an hour on a Sunday, just prepping some food for the week. I mean, we work with really busy executive level clients in our program, entrepreneurs, real estate agents, some that are emergency room doctors that work crazy schedules as well. So if they can do it, you can do it. It's really just being prepared. And it's just saying to yourself, okay, this, I think we create like a mountain out of a molehill, like, oh my God, meal prep is so hard. Meal prep is really not that hard. If you have a grill, you can grill up a bunch of veggies and chicken. If you don't have a grill, whatever, then just bake everything, you know, roast some veggies, roast some sweet potatoes, saute some, some of your favorite protein. It's not that hard, but you really have to be prepared. And what I used to do is I used to take just like a cooler with me 
And I would have my meals for the day. Once I started to lose weight and get healthy, I was like, I'm not stopping at Starbucks, I'm not stopping at Dunkin' Donuts. Like I'm bringing my meals and you just eat your salad in the car. You're in your car anyway. It's not a big deal. Pull over and eat it before you go into your next appointment. Don't make excuses because the more excuses you make, the digger you deep, the digger of a hole you deep yourself. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. You dig yourself into. <laughs> we started it when I got my words tangled up. So we're obviously just 20 here. But you know, the reality is too, the, the other perk of what Angelica is describing is you'll save a lot of money when you're not buying Whoa. processed food at Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts because also don't fool yourself. Nobody's grandma is in the back of the Starbucks lovingly preparing that food. It is made in a giant co-packing facility with all the preservatives to make it last to drive across the world right. and then get into a shrink wrap thing to be put to use. So it is some form of fuel awesome. that's better than nothing. So if that's all you have. Definitely get that reduced fat turkey bacon and egg white sandwich to have something <laughs> in your body. But better than nothing. yeah, you're right. Yep. That when you just think about the money that it's costing you to already drive around and service your clients, a little bit of investment in you also pays off because how do you feel when you stand up to present that house to a buyer if you've got food in your stomach versus if you got that rumble rumble of I haven't eaten anything? I mean, go back or to what you said before. The, the realtor is yeah. the first impression. The energy that you give off is what your clients are going to absorb. Totally. Yes. And you that's why that's why I say your body is your vessel. It's the portal. So you want to feel home. You want to feel at home. You feel re really good in your own skin and your sales are going to increase all the clients we work with, whether they're in real estate or some type of other sales position, they're all are making way more money since they've been in our program. It's just a byproduct. It's naturally happened. Right. They're getting raises. They're getting promotions They're selling more houses. So, I mean, it's confidence. Time, it's, it's all it's, yeah. about the confidence. And like I said before, if you can't control anything else, you can control a lot of this and it doesn't mean you're, ever going to be a double zero, by the way, I, my body's not made to be a double zero. That doesn't matter. Yeah, what okay. matters is I feel different when I eat decent food and I feel better when I don't drink a lot of alcohol and I feel better if I eat on a regular basis versus starving myself all day and then eating anything at night. Anything yeah. inside. It's a terrible idea. And I've done it and we've all done it. And yeah, I did it too. It's totally cheap, but talk about gut health a little bit. You yeah. are a specialist in that. Tell our people what that means and what they should be looking for. And let's get specific sure. on that because I find it to be fascinating. It is, yeah, it is. And basically, you know, the truth is there's still so much studies going on about it, but your gut really is your second brain. So we have our gut microbiome, right? And over time, what happens with things like antibiotics, high levels of stress, eating poor foods, not sleeping well, drinking alcohol, all these toxins come in and the toxins start to thin the gut lining, right? Then we start to get symptoms that there's the obvious poor gut health symptoms like IBS or constipation or bloating. Ladies, I want to say, if you're walking around constantly bloated, that is not normal. That is not the way you should feel. I walked around for years like that. And so, so many of my clients come to me, they're just like, I'm always so bloated. And within a few weeks of being in our program, we help them decrease that bloat, but you don't have, it's, you're not supposed to be bloated after you eat. You're not supposed to be feeling bloated all the time. So that's a big one. And then there's some ones that maybe you wouldn't think are coming from your gut. So headaches, extreme fatigue, skin irritations, maybe like eczema, anxiety, depression, brain fog. So if you're a busy real estate agent, you're feeling foggy in your brain. That's something that's that can prohibit you from making quick decisions, selling more, right? So all these things are going to affect your performance as a salesperson, as an executive, as, a, as an entrepreneur. And they, they start to interfere with your life, feeling anxious, feeling depressed. Serotonin and dopamine are made in the gut. So a lot of people jump to take, and there's nothing wrong with taking medicine, but I do take a holistic approach, but a lot of people jump to take medicine for acid reflux, medicine for their constipation medicine for anxiety and depression. It's like, let's start with the insights. Let's start with your gut health. If you are remotely awake, then you know that we are heading into some really tricky economic times. We have home buyers that have put the kibosh on buying. We have sellers who have found out suddenly their houses aren't dipped in 14 karat gold. And as a realtor, you are still trying to keep up with the business you have and trying to answer questions in the meantime, while also managing sky high fuel cost at the pump. Never fear because my new video course is coming out right now and it's called How to Dominate During a Recession. I've been a realtor for 22 years. My business went up every year during the Great Recession and it's all because of education, 
This course is four modules. There might even be some bonus content for you. The price is $1.99. I am delighted to bring this out as quickly as possible because friends, there's no time like the present to make sure our neighbors are stronger and we protect the American dream. Click on this link, www.dominatethisrecession.com, and I'll see you there. Now, back to this amazing content. Let's start with natural things instead of just feeding big pharma, right? Because we know that medicines can absolutely make life better and extend and solve problems. But like Angelica said, it shouldn't be the first thing you go to is a pill. There is no magic pill for all of this, but... I'm kind of fascinated. You say gut health affects eczema because I had never heard that before. Yeah. You can you skin irritations, just like eczema and psoriasis can be from having your gut microbiome be off. And I had eczema and I'm proof because I had eczema for a long time. And I took every cream, you know, I put every cream on. And then once I went through my gut healing protocol, I don't have any eczema. But I will tell you, if I do eat something inflammatory, like I, I'm, I really am not supposed to eat gluten. I'm not celiac, but I can, I get skin irritations. So, but once in a while I'll have it, I'm from New York. If I go there and I have the pizza or bagel, come on, um, I can't help myself. And then I'll notice I'll get kind of, um, like it looks like an eczema rash on my knuckles. Right. So yes. how does somebody figure out what their skin is going to respond to? How do you figure out your food irritants, the things you're sensitive to? Is there a good program to follow? Yeah. Well, I mean, we, so for us, we, when we bring our clients in, we actually have a doctor on staff who can run gut health tests. So basically you do a stool sample and you submit that and then the results come back and you can see what type of foods you're sensitive to. You know, the test isn't a hundred percent, but you can really get an idea, you know, for mine, it came up that I was sensitive to gluten and egg yolks and avocado, even though those things are good for you, but my body showed that it, it's sensitive to it. So not allergic, but just sensitive. So there are gut health tests you can take. And then usually when we start with a client, we take a look at their diet and history and what they eat on a daily basis. And then we start to just eliminate and add in certain things based on their symptoms. And then when they're ready, because I I like to kind of do just a natural gut cleansing before even doing the test. Then when they're ready and they feel a little better, then we do the gut health test and then take it up another level. So just like working with buyers and sellers, you want to personalize that experience. You got to be personalized when you're figuring out what your body needs, which is just like some people love to run. Some people hate it, but they love to swim. And some people can ride a bike and some just want to do yoga and lift weights. And any of it is better than none of it. And you're allowed to decide what is better for you and and not as great. And so what did you do next in your journey? Like you fixed your nutrition piece. How did you get involved in things like paddle boarding? Because a lot of people are like me. They don't want to exercise until they get their body feeling better, but you definitely have to do both. You have to move more and think about what you're doing for nutrition. So what's your advice on that front? To try different exercises or just move more in general? Either one. Either one. Oh, so, yeah. you're meeting so, somebody for the first time and they say, if yeah. I'm running, it's because somebody's chasing me, which is the joke I'm okay, yeah. most tired <laughs> of hearing. But how do you get somebody started knowing that almost yeah. the, the whole American public swears every year on January 1st, they're going to work know. out. And by January 3rd, they have vanished. Yeah. So with our clients, a lot of them come to us. Some of them haven't worked out in quite some time, but they're not so opposed to it. But if someone was really opposed to that, we give our clients customized fitness programs, which includes strength training and cardio. Strength training at the end of the day, ladies, if you're listening, pay attention to this. Strength training is what is going to transform your body, not cardio, not running. Sorry. It'll help you lose a little bit, but if you really want to, if you really want to build lean muscle, restore your metabolism and get to the point where you're older and you could basically feel like I can eat whatever I want because I have so much muscle on my body. It is strength training. And that is the way to fat loss forever. Strength training is the number one thing. So if I have a client that tells me that they're really adverse to strength training, I will definitely fight them on it because not only is it great for transforming your body as females, osteoporosis is we're very prone to getting it. So it's very important for our longevity of our bones to strength train, not just to look good, not from a vanity standpoint, but it's very important for our health. So I will find them on it and I'll make things easier for them. Like I said, it's completely tailored, but if someone really doesn't want to do it and they want to do body weight or they want to swim or they want to run, I'm not going to say no, because like you said, some movement is better than no movement. But the way I started my transformation journey was working with the coach specifically on strength training and it changed my life. And strength training also teaches you and shows you how strong you are. It gives you that confidence. You know what I mean? Like you lift, 
weights that you never thought you could lift, you gain a sense of mental confidence. So I think it's really important for everyone to do a little bit. Okay. So. so I get bored with strength training. I am the world's worst. I will even turn on like Shit's Creek. I love that show. I've watched it all the way through. I'm watching it through again. I'm standing there doing my biceps and my kickbacks and eight reps. And I'm like, eh, I mean, I'm done. So how do you get past that? I don't want to, when I'm running, I have to keep going because I have to get back home. If I'm doing strength training, I can lay the weights down and be like, I'm good. How do I get past that? Yeah, you can. It's working on your mindset around it. So when you, like you said, when you're running, you have to keep going because you have to get back home. It's really shifting your mindset when you're working out. I don't like to say we have to do things or we should do things, but knowing that if you complete this workout, how much better are you going to feel? And if you have goals, you're going to want to complete it. So if you're a female that has weight to lose, or you're looking to really, like you said, you want to work on your arms, you want to sculpt them. How important is it to you? So if it's important to you, you're going to keep going. So it's reminding yourself like, okay, I know that this isn't the most fun, but my favorite thing to do, how can I make it my favorite? Instead of watching Schitt's Creek, why don't you put on some really good music that motivates you? Because there are so many studies that show when you actually listen to motivate, like good music, you get more into your workout. And when you actually start to look at yourself in the mirror and concentrate on the muscles you're working working on, I call it like your mind body connection. And then you start to see the muscles and you start to feel stronger. It's going to push you to go farther. So it's taking those baby steps, but yeah. Oh, yeah. You have to I don't like mind. looking in the mirror while I'm lifting weights. I feel so inferior. Oh my goodness. It's so hard because we are all in comparison mode all the time. That's what I hate the most about social media, how it's allowed so many people to put forth only one version of themselves. You don't see the work that goes in you don't see yeah. their rough days. So in a world of fairly negative perfectionism and well, narcissism in comparison, how do you help your clients get over that hump? Because that's tricky, not just for us middle-aged moms, but for our teenage daughters too. Yeah. We have a mindset call every Wednesday in our private group. Uh, I lead it. We have it on Zoom. So we talk about these things every week. So it's a constant, it's constantly reminding. Um, and it's like, what I feel with mindset work is you can never talk about it enough. So you can never talk about comparison, gratitude, positive mindset. It's always reminding our clients over and over. Sure, I take a different angle to the topic, but it's constantly, it's going over these topics constantly and reminding them like, you know, remove people from your social media that trigger you. Don't wake up and look at your phone, wake up and meditate. So we teach them different things as far as like routines and habits around their mindset to not fall prey to that. We all fall prey to it a little bit, but I really don't scroll much. I go on, I do my posts, I, sh I do my stories and I connect with people that have messaged me. I really try to teach my clients to do the same thing. I'm like, if you're going on Facebook, come into our private group, share your wins, but don't sit there and spend time scrolling. And we have constant conversations about it with them. But basically just repetition, like everything else, repetition, yep. repetition, repetition. repetition. Exactly. All right, so if somebody wants to reach out to you to find out more about how they can take their own next steps on their journey, what's the best way for them to connect with you and your programs? Sure. Yeah. You can send me a message on Instagram. Uh, my uh, handle is at the Angelica Ventries. So just my name with the, the in front of it. So and simple. because I know y'all are watching this or listening to it while you're on your elliptical, I totally get it. So Angelica's contact information is in the show notes for this episode. So you can reach out and ask some questions and get some feedback on how you can create a journey, whether it's with Angelica or someone else or on your own. I'm sure she has suggestions yeah. for everybody. Yeah. I have questions. I have free guides, nutrition guides, gut health guides. So send me a message on Instagram. I'd be happy to share. Well, thank you so much for coming on and giving us a little bit of thought process in some different areas, because we all need a little bit of truth telling and a little bit of oomph <laughs> to get our journey getting better. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right, friends, if you enjoyed that, just leave Angelica a nice note in the comments. Go to her downloads. And most importantly, go have a great day and I'll see you next time. As always, I'm so super thrilled that you joined in for more crazy shit. And if you're a realtor, investor, inspector, lender, or just a regular human being who happens to have an unbelievable story that you need to tell the world about, or frankly, you just need to one of the story you just heard, then make sure to DM me on Instagram at Lee Thomas Brown or tweet me at Lee Brown or frankly, any social network where you hang out. I'm there. And if you had some fun, then you totally want to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future episodes. 